Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, for today's video, um, I'm going to open, unbox um, the November Team Beam. I already know what it is, because uh, I already opened it. Um, I was I was curious because I order the um, the mystery pack from Team Beam, and so you have the option of getting um, single paint stones or trios of paint stones or the mystery pack. And I always like doing them. The November Team Beam is uh, the children's palette, which I was very excited about um, that they they do this. Uh, I am not going to try and say this because I don't want to uh, butcher their language of Ojibwe. Um, but this is the children's palette and it comes with these eight colors. Summer Sun Red, Cherry Magenta, Fall Poplar Yellow, Pumpkin, Spring Green, Robin's Egg, Almost Night, and Lavender. And these two are um, more of a gouache color. Um, one thing that's really nice about this is it's, it's tiny and so it'll make it very easy for, um, kids to hold on to. But what's even better about this and one of the reasons I really love this is that you can send these back to get refilled. Um, so that's, that's really. Really exciting so that way um, it's less waste so um, I'm gonna swatch out these colors and I'm going to do a little paint a couple paintings with them now just for comparison um, these are the paint stones that I already have so these are the exact same paints as these um, but they were tested to make sure that they were um, tested and certified, you know, non-toxic, safe for children. Um, so that's that's awesome. So summer sun red, fall poplar yellow, cherry magenta, uh, pumpkin, spring green, uh, almost night, lavender, and robin's egg. So they're the exact same colors that you would buy in the uh, paint stone form. Um, I wanted to fill up this. These are just some um, when I did a little paint time with my kids. Um, so I figured this would be a good place to test out a children's palette. Um, so move my coffee out of the way. And get a little palette up here just in case if I need it. One day I'll have my desk organized nice and convenient for recording, but I don't like to do that. All right, so. Uh, right, so you, most of these paints wet very easily. So this is the Summer Sun Red. The Cherry Magenta. Just 
beautiful color. I'm going to do pumpkin next. I think this is close to the top of the list of some of my favorite colors from Bean Paints. Fall Poplar Yellow. Nice bright yellow. Spring leaf green. Almost night which is like a phthalo blue. It's a nice bright blue, vibrant. Uh, this will be the robin's egg, which this is one of the gouache colors. and lavender. All right, so those are all the colors. Um, one of the, like, already using this, this is really nice to hold in my hand. It's just nice, convenient, um, and easy, and it would be just as easy for um, kids. And I know when Anong did her little, uh, her video on um, Instagram um, displaying the, the palette, one of the things was mixing colors. You can mix colors right here on it. And there you go. And then It was also just as easy to just go in there and wipe it up and clean it up a little bit. Granted, probably would be better to wait when it's dry, but either way, it still is easy to clean the block up. So like say if we wanted to do, let's do a little bit of almost night. And get a little bit of the tray magenta. Mix it and get that nice little purple color. So, and you know, worst case scenario, it just gives your um your palette a little bit of character. So I'll let that. That's probably what I should have done there, and then wipe it off. And phthalo blue. The almost night is going to stain a little bit so um eventually this is this is not going to stay a nice wood color it's it's gonna it's gonna look like a paint palette so let's see let's paint let's paint some stuff I'm gonna do some balloons. That was one of the uh, examples that Anon did and looked really fun. So let's paint some balloons. You know what? And just to add some character, we're just gonna put it up against the red. And if it bleeds, it bleeds. And we'll just have some extra colors there. Do oh, I'm still let's see, let's get some cleaner water there. And since uh, it's the holiday season, I'm 
we will paint, let's paint a little wreath. We're gonna mix the spring leaf green with the almost night. It's not gonna be a perfect circle, but we're gonna try and get a uh, circle shape. And one thing that'd be great for this palette because it's only got eight colors in it, it'd be a good way to uh, work with kids and teaching them how to mix their own colors. I know my son likes to paint, so I think he would probably really enjoy this. So we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna let our balloons dry. Um, let's, let's use the lavender. My brush still has some blue in it. Let's see, as a gouache, you can already see some of its gouache properties. It's got that nice opaque color. We use some of that green. There we go. And so we're gonna add some berries to that. So we'll get some nice red ones. And we can even uh, add a little bit of water. There we go. Hmm. Um, uh, let's see, let's come up with something else. Um, you know, it's still fall and one of the things I like to paint are pumpkins. So let's use pumpkin to paint pumpkins. By the time that I'm able to post this video, it will be December, but I, you know what? It, it pumpkin, a pumpkin's a pumpkin, right? Does it matter? Does it matter what time of year it is? And then we'll use the spring leaf green to uh, give it a stem. And it's okay if it bleeds in a little bit. We can give it some leaves so it's like a fresh pumpkin still on the vine. All right. Hmm. Let's see, what else? Let's do some pink flowers. We'll use that magenta. You know what? We'll add some yellow to the leaves. Hmm. And last but not least, let's put some here. And you know, one of my favorite things to do is mushrooms. And so let's do a little mushroom. We're gonna do red. I think that was supposed to be a spot, but I wasn't paying attention, and it's okay. To add a little bit, we're going to do a little bit of the Robin's Egg Blue. Alright, so, we, I would like a 
little lighter brown. So I almost put my brush in my coffee. So I'm gonna do some orange. And we'll put a little bit of green in it. Which is not gonna work out the way I thought it would. I don't know why. Um, why am I struggling to think of how to make brown? Red and green, with a little bit more red in it. Close enough. There we go. Close enough. That. All right. And let's do some robin's eggs here. Since we made brown, let's make a little bit more. All right, and that's the robin's egg blue. All right, so I have this um, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in dark sepia brush. And I'm going to use that to um, just do a little bit of line work for some of everything. Pretty much for the most part, everything with the exception of a couple of spots up here are dry. So let's let's get to lining. All right, I'm going to do a different one for um, the. Lavender, so. All right, well, I mean, that's it. Um, the, this is the Beam Beige Children's Palette, and I mean, it has a lot of versatility with it. I mean, if you think about all the color mixes you can make with these eight colors, I mean, these are already two of them. And it's just, it's a really well-rounded palette and great for kids, nice and tiny, fits in your hand really well. And I mean, it doesn't even need to be just for kids. Um, if you wanted just a super tiny palette for on the go, this this is pretty good right here, and it's it's pretty sturdy. And you, all you need to do is um, you can keep it in the paper it came with. Um, I know some of the um, other things from Beam. If you do have any others from them, they come in this beeswax wrapper. You could easily just as much wrap it in there, and then you could use the wrapper for a mixing palette. And it would do everything you'd need it to do. Um, so, yeah. And uh, that's it. Uh, these are available on um, Anong's website, beampage.com. And um, uh, they would probably make really good uh, Christmas presents for any of your little ones who like to paint. Or just any arts and crafty friends you have. So, yeah. Um, that's it. Thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope to see you next time. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.